Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Stephen Kane with Total Health Systems and in this video we will discuss what causes the crunching sound associated with the chiropractic adjustment as well as what are the implications of it. Now there's no proven mechanism as to exactly what it is that causes this sound. However, most research does tend to revolve around the notion of a cavitation being the cause of the sound. A cavitation is when you take a joint, for example, the facet joints, which are in the back part of our spine here, you take the joint and you put a very quick impulse into it one way or another and you gap or you open up these synovial joints. Synovial joints have synovial fluid that help to lubricate it. And when you do this, you put the quick impulse into it, there's a quick decrease in pressure. And when this happens, the gases that are already dissolved in the synovial fluid, this is nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, they quickly form a bubble and then this bubble, the gases within it, will then disperse back into the rest of the synovial fluid. So quite often people will say that this popping sound is gas escaping the joint. Well, what would be much more accurate is to say that there's a change of distribution of the gases within a joint. Now a couple different things occur in response to this cracking type of adjustment. One is that there is a release of endorphins. This is your body's own pain suppressing hormone and why many people will feel a sigh of relief in response to this type of cracking adjustment. Secondly, is that there's an increase in range of motion. Assuming the chiropractor did a good job of finding the joint that's stuck, after this cracking type of adjustment, it's going to improve the range of motion at that joint, which is a great thing for that joint, plus it's going to promote better biomechanics throughout the entirety of the spine. Now, does someone need to get this cracking type of adjustment for it to be a successful experience with a chiropractor? And the answer is, for some people yes, and for some people no. What you should pay attention to is how are you responding to the treatment as a whole? Are you realizing the goals that brought you to the chiropractor in the first place? Is your pain going down? Is your functioning improving? This is what you should put your attention on. And for some people, this cracking type of adjustment is important for them to realize these goals. And for some people, it's not. And for some people, it's actually preferable not to have this cracking type of adjustment. For some people, they just don't feel comfortable with it, and that's perfectly fine. And some people have medical conditions, such as osteoporosis, where the bones are very fragile, and this aggressive type of adjustment might be too much as a little too risky. This is why there's many different types of techniques, some of which are lower force and less aggressive, and do not elicit any of this cracking. It's all about finding the right technique for the individual. Some of these other techniques include the activator, which is a spring-loaded instrument. puts a very quick impulse into the joint, far quicker than what the human hand can do. There's also the Thompson drop technique. This is where a table drops down and uses gravity to help better align and mobilize the pelvis. Finding the right type of chiropractic for you is going to be a wonderful thing. It'll have you feeling better. It's going to promote the overall longevity of your body and of your health. With that said, it is equally important to maintain the benefits of the chiropractic adjustment as it is to get the adjustment in the first place. A lot of people, they'll have stuck joints, they'll get them adjusted, they feel fantastic until a couple days later when it all comes back to square one. Right? If you don't retrain the body to maintain the benefits of the adjustment, it's just going to be this constant circle like a dog ch chasing its tail. Real progress is when you get adjusted, maybe a handful of adjustments, and then you do the right things to maintain those benefits. You do the right types of stretches, the right types of exercises, you maintain great posture. All of these things will have you continuing to maintain the benefits, and that is where your body is at its best. So see a great physical therapist, see a great massage therapist, do yoga. All of these things will train your body to maintain the benefits of the chiropractic adjustment and give you the best outcomes, which is exactly what I would love to happen for all of you watching. So thank you all for checking out this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Take care.